good afternoon good afternoon or good evening good morning to all wherever you are and um, i'll be covering predominantly on the growth of artificial lighting i don't think we can live without the artificial lighting green building codes and standards energy codes and standard which predominantly followed we have a lot of codes and standard but chris i brought in some of the important codes and standard which uh, really transformed entire lighting design industry and how the lighting plays a major role for net zero energy now people wanted to go for net zero on whatever small potential even small indicator lamp they want solar illuminated led lighting system maybe i am just guessing tomorrow it will be a lighting for disease control so cure diseases based on the occupant condition i think that's how i am looking for a shift in the near focus near future and lighting is going to play a major role uh, in a coming days but one concern if you look at it um, is an amazing invention there is no doubt everybody has to appreciate accept it but too much is not good it is really bad and artificial lighting if you go anywhere globally you can see that excess lighting illumination night sky pollution and illuminating uh, horizontal vertical which is not required to be done it has been done extensively so it's a misuse happen across the globe lighting what it's supposed to deliver we are overdoing it that is one concern what i have traveling across the globe many cities not only las vegas now we have lot of las vegas across the globe this is macro level my concern for excess light and night sky pollution this needs to be addressed sooner than later and when you look at artificial lighting the very important element which we were missing earlier is the uniformity of the lighting so the corridors you might be seeing most of the old facilities may be 180 lakhs then the work plan will be 800000 lakh that's not a good idea we have the well rating with a lot of research they define place to place what will be the uh, in terms of variance in brightness most of the energy codes globally we have in india bureau of energy efficiency national building code which are all address about lighting power density and lights level and kind of control i will spend some time on control system how this uh, entire i have just captured this basic information from various uh, codes and standards and predominantly most of the energy code address not only the power density also it address minimum lux level to be maintained and which area required what kind of control and coming back to the <coughs> uh, partial automated control like uh, other than restrooms you can have a 50% general lighting can be turned on and 50% can be manual so that minimum illumination is maintained and depends on the occupancy you can vary the lighting power in different location and some areas you can restrict it to only manual when there is no automation necessary for a place uh, like an uh, uh, ot places in a hospital where you can't control the lighting it has to be on always quality is so important so that you can reduce the light pollution improve the health of the individuals who occupy the building to improve the productivity